this episode, I go plant shopping with a budget of $60. Now you guys voted what you think my budget should be for this episode and you chose $60. So that is what I went with. I visited Trader Joe's in Uptown Charlotte, North Carolina, because they always have a really nice assortment of house plants. And I also visited Grow Charlotte, which is a really cool plant shop in kind of Uptown Charlotte area. And they have rare plants, uncommon plants, um, they also have really wonderful plant accessories and I just love it there and it has been a long time. If you are new to my channel, welcome. We are all crazy plant people here. So if that brings a smile to your face, make sure to subscribe so episodes will show up in your newsfeed. And we also have a really wonderful plant community on Instagram that we would love for you to be part of. So the goal for this episode is to go plant shopping at both of these locations without spending over $60, which $60 sounds like a lot, but plants these days are expensive. So see if I can do it. I hope this is a nice relaxing plant shopping video for you guys. I do my haul at the end of the video as always. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. As I said, my first stop is Trader Joe's and I had to do voiceover because I'm a little nervous to film openly in Trader Joe's. So the first thing I saw was this beautiful shamrock or oxalis. So I just thought that was absolutely lovely and they had a lot of orchids. They were $14.99, really nice size, phalaenopsis orchids, all beautiful different colors, just just stunning, who doesn't love orchids? Then they did have a really nice assortment of hanging baskets. They were only $9.99 and a nice assortment. Like I said, they had ivy and this beautiful Tradescantia with the purple and they had it look like a Pilea as well. I just love these Tradescantia leaves because they're so shimmery and sparkly and they had a really nice assortment of succulents. There were a variety of jade. Um, typically they have all of these plants outside, but since it's still cold, they have them inside. Look at this cute string bean peperomia. And then they had these beautiful, I think these are called hyacinth. Then there were a lot of aloe, more tropical plants at the bottom of this area display blue star fern bird's nest ferns fluffy ruffle ferns uh, coffee plants now if you want an easy care laid back fern this blue star fern is where it's at i also saw a rabbit foot fern so cute it looks like these are 12.99 for these assorted uh, plants there's some croton and parlor palm a pothos really nice assortment of plants. Schifflera, some more Tradescantia, Dracaena, and these really sweet succulent gardens. They had a whole assortment of different succulents and I love the ceramic planters that they came in. Outside they did have some plants. They had some uh, cyclamens, beautiful colors and some little orchid and some more of these shamrock plants for $4.99. Thought that was a great deal. I love the flowers. They had this huge aloe plant. Um, then they did have more house plants, $7.99, some orchids, nice variety. Um, holiday cactus. I believe these are Easter cactus because that's that time of year. And I'm always really impressed with the flower assortment that I can find at Trader Joe's. Beautiful fresh cut flowers. Absolutely loved it. Was really impressed with what they had um, at the uptown Trader Joe's in the Charlotte area. grow and they have so many great plants I can't wait to look around see what I can find it has been so long since I've been here um, just off the bat look at these really beautiful calatheas this orbifolia is just looking magnificent 
Then we have some Calathea White Fusions. Haven't seen any of those in so long. Look how beautiful. Gorgeous autograph plant here. So pretty. ZZ. These look like, oh, this is different. Ficus Radicans Variegata 16. I'll be listing off prices as I see them, but that's an unusual find. So pretty. Then we have Raphidophora Tetraspermas and some Ficus Trangularis. My shadow is kind of in the way here. Absolutely lovely. This Raphidophora tetrasperma is such a fast grower. Um, I know some people call it the mini Monstera, but it's not, it's a Raphidophora, it's not a Monstera. Um, but like I said, it's such a fast grower, really cool plant. And I love this shop because they have so many cool plant accessories. There's a grow light there. Look at these beautiful planters. Wow, look at that Ethereum. Then we, there are loads of plant books, cute little moss poles, little prop station, so all sorts of supplements, some more watering cans. Then they have the De La Tanks soil. I love it when I see her her um, soil around. She has a YouTube channel and it's super informative, really great plant channel. Definitely recommend checking her out. Becca De La Plants. Oh, look at this vanilla orchid. So beautiful. Really healthy. Then we have some Hoyas. Um, Carnosa Compacta. Oh look, they have Begonia Amphioxus up there. And hard to see with the light behind. Thank you. Hoya Curtisii. Oh, a string of needles, 32. They have some black pagoda lipstick plants, which has been kind of tempting me lately because I have to say my lipstick plant is one of my favorites. It blooms for me all the time. It requires nothing. You know, we love those easy care plants, right guys? And we have string of watermelon, $22. Look how cute that is. Um, Hoya Wyetii Variegata maybe. Okentiana Variegata, 42. This one's really pretty. I don't know if this is a type of snake plant, maybe. A Cryptanthus bonita, 22. <laughs> I love the stripes on there. Look at this Hilo Beauty. Wow, it's huge. Then of course this gorgeous Alocasia. Quilted Dreams, 62. And the Hilo Beauty is 34 and it has a new leaf coming out. Love to see that. Looks like some stingrays over here. That's exciting. You don't see those around very often. Um, let's see how much. Do you know how much these stingrays are? Yes, let me check on that. Okay, thank you. Some Alocasia Tiny Dancers and the stingrays are 34 and they're called stingrays. As you can see from the shape of the leaves, it looks like a stingray with a little tail and the shape of the leaves. So cool. And as I, as I said, we have a little Alocasia Tiny Dancers. They stay small form, um, but just such a neat Alocasia. The Rex begonias here. Taking a look at all their cool planters. They always have really nice selection usually local artists and potters some little trays here look at these beauties such a vibrant pink maybe this is another type of cryptanthus this looks like a maharani this looks like a Maharani, let me double check. Yes, 52 for this beautiful Maharani. 
like this cane angel wing begonia, beautiful, some snake plants, lots of my mykins, I've been seeing them around the shop, 164. Oh, look at this decursiva. I like that it's on the trellis. The leaves are already fenestrating. Beautiful. The one that I have in my bathroom is growing like crazy. I wasn't expecting this to be a fast grower in it. It's a good one. And it's also called dragon tail. It's always fun to know like what the common name is um, because it's it usually reflects some sort of characteristic in the plant. And with dragon tail on this one, you can see why, because it looks like a dragon tail. And up here we have some Cebu Blues, $20, some Golden Pothos. Look at this money tree. Look at the leaves on this guy. Oh my goodness. Is this a different... Oh yeah! Some of... Is this a different variety or is this just a mutation, I wonder? is so cool. I don't know if that's just these money trees, but this one has it a little bit. This, yeah, they all have it a little bit. Hmm. Polonia repens and another beautiful mykin, Cebu Blue, Brazil, Carnosa Compacta, some Rick Rat Cactus. <laughs> Look how lush and beautiful they are. And go check out, out all those plants over there. Taking a look at these cacti over here and look at this one, how it's spiraling, really cool. Um, it is a spiral. Interesting, 128, and there are two of them. Ooh, lots of good plants over here. I'm so glad I came today. First off the bat, look at these beautiful fuzzy petiole philodendrons. Um, I have one of these and it grows like crazy. It's so easy and uh, it's called fuzzy petiole because the petioles have this really cute little fuzz that it develops on there really great philodendron that you know is, is relatively uncommon you don't see it that often and the leaves have a really nice feel to the leaves almost like a soft soft texture to them is this is a bipenifolium oh this is a they have florida green here 28 wow these are beautiful when they're the leaves are mature uh, it's the same as maybe uh, the shape of a Florida Beauty, um, but they stay green. And then let's see, the fuzzy petioles are 58. The silver sword is 38. Absolutely lovely. Some sort of, huh, oh, philodendron campii Lynette, 28. That's an unusual one. There's another little cutie back there, isn't an atom? A super atom philodendron, 38. Absolutely lovely. I love going through and seeing all these ones. Homolonema emerald gem, 18. Then we have some Adams. Oh my gosh, they have a Stanley Anna. <gasps> wow, 110. <laughs> Look how beautiful. Oh my gosh, this was on my wish list forever. Couldn't find them in Charlotte, couldn't find them. This is the first one I've seen besides uh, occasionally Malone's back in the day would have like a rare plant type sale. This is the first one I've seen. It's a really nice sized one. It has a lot of nodes in the pot there as you can see. And I ended up having to import one. That's kind of, I don't know. So I'm not gonna lie, that is tempting. It's a Monstera. Um, look at the variegation on these leaves. So lush and beautiful. That's exciting. Ooh, they have a Stanleyana. Oh no, still it's a Pecana. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, 84. I don't have one of these in my collection. Look at the silver on these leaves. And it's so lush and beautiful. Oh my goodness. They have some Dubia. 
85. Look at the sparkle. Some more Raffidophora. These might be Enjoy or Pearls and Jade. Both those. We have some Skin skin Dapsid. No. Look, just a Maglottis Sarawak. I was about to say, these leaves look. I've never seen this one before here. 38. <laughs> Thinking about that one. Oh, some good plants here today. Haven't seen that one in Charlotte before. Haven't seen that one. Haven't seen that one. Okay. Get it, Grow Charlotte. Skin Daps has picked a silver splash. Maybe a little silvery Anne here. 14. They have some Brantianum. Haven't seen these in Charlotte in forever. So that's pretty cool. Really healthy looking. 28. <gasps> When I say mine grows like a weed, it grows like crazy. This is such a cool plant. Here you have your green Cordatum Merheteraceum Hartley Philodendron, 14. Some beautiful Micans. Some more variegated uh, Kenthiana here. I'm coming into the Hoyas. Looks like a Puba Calyx back there. Um, Hoya Australis. So easy. Hoyas are great because they're so easy, but Australis is next level, needs nothing, grows. It's my fastest growing Hoya, actually. And we have Rotusa and Compacta, Microphylla, Pachyclata, 32, Macrophylla is 28. Coming into the really cute little Peperomias, which I have to say, Peperomias have grown on me. Um, Caparata Green, 16, and Caparata Frost, 16, Peperomia Frost, 12. I don't know if the camera's gonna show, but it has all these beautiful sparkles in the leaves, gorgeous. Watermelon Peps, Shumi Red, this looks like another little Natoli Nights. Globanda. This looks like a Keto. Yes, 18. Got this one as my gratitude plant for my birthday this year. And look at these pods. I am obsessed. Wow, these planters are so cool. 58. And then they're signed on the bottom. Be really gentle with that. They're so pretty. this beautiful golden pothos over here in the corner. I just can't stop admiring it. This is amazing. And it's even fenestrating, look at this. Oh, the leaves are so big. Wow. I love it. That's so cool. There's a fishtail palm here, such a cool type of palm. Again, called fishtail because of the shape of the leaves and how they look like a fishtail. Then there's ficus audrey, absolutely beautiful. Ooh, they have some snake plants. They have whale fin. That's neat to see out and about. 40 for the green ones and then the variegated ones are 110, but this has two different plants in it. So if you wanted to split it up and have two, you could. Look at these neat starfish ones. They are 36 and there's the moonshine over there. These little planters are so cute. I love them. We have some beautiful um, plants here. I mean, look at the size of this Adansonii. <gasps> what a gem. 
and all of they have so many cute gifts and like I said planters it's just a neat gift shop um, in the Charlotte area 10 out of 10 recommend visiting what's this one over here this looks like another uh, the curse of a yes 72 planters look at these they're so cute have a Peperomia Hope and this is a great plant. The leaves are so squishy and amazing. Again, I'm finding, I thought Peperomias enjoyed, you know, being watered regularly. They like drying out, which really works for with my type of watering. 56 for this huge Peperomia Hope. Such a cool plant, I love mine. Take a look at the Cebu Blue on this beautiful trellis. Adansonii, Raven ZZs, amazing. All sorts of cool stuff on this table. They have the little booby planters, which I'm obsessed with. But they also have a unicorn cactus, which you never see. Um, it's 76, it's pretty rare, and it's obviously called a unicorn cactus because it looks like a unicorn horn. So cool. Lots of little tiny planters, some alcoya assortment over here. Um, string of turtles and then I just thought the crystals over here were so beautiful they're so pretty as always I had a fantastic time plant shopping just like taking my mind off of stuff and just relaxed and enjoyed some plant therapy so to speak and I did for the first time I think stay within my budget for today it was $60. So I'm really excited to share my haul from today. So the first plant I got, I got one from Trader Joe's and one from Grow. And the plant I got from Trader Joe's is this really cool Oxalis or Shamrock. Uh, it's, you know, it's a common plant. You can find it kind of all around, but with it being springtime and St. Patrick's Day, I just thought that this was great. And it's actually a great year round plant and this one even has all sorts of beautiful little blooms um, it's a very easy care plant just water it when it dries out this guy's due for some water I think so absolutely love him he's just gonna hang out in my kitchen and looking cheerful and spring like as I you know do my cooking and all of that kind of stuff I find this plant is just it's just like cheerfulness in a planter. I just love it. And that beautiful green color. This plant was $4.99, such a great deal. The hanging baskets they had at Trader Joe's for $9.99. I mean, that's better than even Home Depot and Lowe's and the big box shops for the same size, similar plants. So Trader Joe's, that's a steal on a lot of their plants. The next one I got is from Grow Charlotte and it is so cool. I had not ever seen this one before and it is a Schistemoglottis Sarawak. It was $38. So I stayed well within my $60 today. And what sold me on this plant is how much it looks like a Scandapsis pictus. Exotica Scandapsis are great plants. I What sold me on the Scandapsis was the dark leaves with like the silvery print on there and that's what I thought this plant was at first. I was like, is that some variety of Scandapsis? But it's a Schistemoglottis. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And it has 
so many nodes in here. If I wanted to split it up, it would be no problem. There's one, two, three, four, five, six different plants just in this one planter for $38. I thought that was great because I think perhaps this is an uncommon plant to find. Now, I will say this compared to the Skindapsis, I'm not super familiar with this variety or this species of Schistema glottis, so I'll be learning as I go. But these leaves are a lot more thin than the right regular Skindapsis um, exoticas, so it's probably going to need more water. Um, it's gonna need to be watered more regularly. I can already see it's kind of drooping a little bit. I think it's a bit thirsty. There's a lot of new growth pumping out. So I'm just going to have to make a conscious effort to make sure to water this guy um, more regularly and not let him get dried out too much. But look at these beautiful, beautiful leaves. Now, if you have any experience with this plant, please leave in the comments any care tips for myself and any others that are interested in it. Yeah, it was hard to choose at Grow. They had some fantastic plants. And again, I was limited to one. This, it's nice to go with a budget because it really puts the kind of the brakes on, <laughs> so to speak. Okay, I gotta stay within this. So I just picked the one in the budget and it just what is helpful with limiting purchasing when all of these cool new plants are, are uh, coming into our area. It's hard not to want to buy them all at once, but you guys know I'll be doing lots of plant shopping videos in the future. Uh, so I'm sure I'll be adding a lot of the cool plants I saw today in my collection down the road. But I hope you enjoyed. And if you want to see more plant shopping videos, house plant tours, guys, I have some really exciting content coming out. I'm going to be doing a lot more house plant tours of fellow plant lovers in the Charlotte area. So I just filmed one that I'm so excited to edit and get out to you. Um, it was amazing to see this lady's collection. I'm just over the moon um, that she allowed me to come out and film so I can share it with you. I'm also doing a behind the scenes botanical garden tour with their master gardener for UNC Charlotte Botanical Gardens, which is my alma mater where I went to university. So I'm really excited with some of the content. So make sure to subscribe if you want to see those episodes show up in your newsfeed. And uh, like I said, we have that great plant community on our Instagram. So feel free to join that if you like. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the day. You will definitely be seeing me soon. Bye.